Hey. hey everybody, I thought it would be fun to do a few videos and maybe put together a series depending on how it goes with some throwback football video games through history. We got the Hall of Fame weekend coming up. I thought, you know, Madden this year is going to have the late John Madden on the cover again. Let's start off with Madden 94 with what I believe is the first, uh, well, no, I think there was a regular John Madden football for Super Nintendo, but this one is kind of the first one I really ever played when I was younger. And just kind of give my thoughts on the game, how it holds up, talk a little NFL, see how it goes. So we'll go with a little Lions Bears. I like the Madden intro that was there. And I'm going to go with the Lions quarterback situation. So I believe this would probably be Rodney Pete versus Jim Harbaugh. Rodney Pete with the Lions, Harbaugh with the Bears. And obviously uh, Barry Sanders. See this game here, this intro with with Madden talking and just the panning through the crowd. It's got a little charm to it. I like the animations and the ways that they were able to uh, put in some good you know presentation, make it look like a TV broadcast. Just has some nice character, you know. The, I think the graphics hold up well, especially with all the indie game art that happens today. Madden gives his little breakdown here. 1990. So this is 94, Madden 94, but it would have been the 1993 NFL season, I believe. So that would be Bills losing to the Cowboys. A couple of 90s sportswear. When I think of starter jackets, often I think of Dallas Cowboys starter jackets. When I think of Zuba's striped pants, I think of the Bills striped pants. All right, we'll see how we do here. I remember like being young during this time, and it was like, who are the Bills going to go? lose two in the Super Bowl this year. Like, you always knew the Bills were going to make the Super Bowl. <clears throat> All right. We got we to gotta focus on here. So the play art and everything, similar to Madden now, on how it is on there. Do a little 3-4 defense here. See what we can do. Ooh, nice, little, nice little catch here. Got the little animations, the... Lions fans not happy with that defensive effort right there. What I don't like, like I don't mind the graphics. I don't mind them at all. I don't like that. I don't really know what player is what other than just the ones that are highlighted. There's no way to like zoom out and see the numbers of everyone. And the fact that it's just numbers on here. Okay, Ooh. it's a little late getting over there. All right, third and ten. Uh, the top, you know, there's no real scores up there. I don't know, it's, it's a little bit hard for me to kind of see the information that's at the top when it, when it shows that on there. I'm, I'm not a real fan of that, but this play call screen, I don't mind too much. All right, fourth down. That was, that was a big stop. See how punt return works on this. They take the time flipping the screen around. All right. Not a very stellar return. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Lions, Bears. Let's just do this. Let's try to dump one out here. There we go. Nice little play there for. Barry Sanders, one of the most exciting players in my life of watching in the NFL, for sure. All right, first and ten. Let's try this little sprint draw. I think it's. I'm a little surprised they have a sprint draw play. It didn't look that much like a sprint draw. It just kind of looked like a draw, but cool. 
Yeah, let's try to get this. I think we got to get this running game going with this a little bit. Forty-four. Can't get these. The control's not bad. You know, it's there's a little degree of uncontrollability to the players. Um, I think defense is a little bit easier to control. I think than this. I don't know why. Earlier, I liked being the defensive end. Here we go. Here we go. You gotta catch that Barry Sanders. Okay, fourth and eleven. So the old punting. Playing these games that you haven't played for a while. Kicking is always kind of the thing where each one's a little bit different, you know, depending on the brand of game. That wasn't a great punt. Alright. It's got the EA Sports with the little updates at the top. Giving you some play-by-play -play of the game a little bit. But overall, I think it's a nice game, you know. The, like I said, the... Nice. The control on defense is a little bit easier than offense. The play art on defense is a little bit hard to know exactly what's going on uh, with some of those diagrams. Like, I... You know... It, by the drawing of them, I wouldn't necessarily know, but you know where I would consider myself some fairly knowledgeable about the game of football, like knowing what the plays are, you know, I like where I see ones that are like cover two and things like that. I understand coverages, so I, I know where people are supposed to be, but the play art is a little bit different on defense. Uh, with some of it there so I'm assuming when you see the lines coming off uh, that's just where they're dropping to their zones and then where you don't see a line coming off a defender on the play art then they're manning up I would assume and then they kind of have their stunts for their D line and their blitzes so that must be what it is it just kind of threw me a little bit for a loop there Okay, so I got to be focusing on offense again here. Set. Blue. Hot. Well, I really thought I would be able to run the ball a little bit more. I remember on the old college game, I'll probably do a video on that one where running the ball was a lot easier. I'm just having a hard... And maybe it's just... Being the Lions, which aren't aren't a great team on here, you know, I just thought a rivalry would be fun playing with a team that I, you know, probably didn't really play with a lot back in those days. Hey, there we go. Nice. Right down the seam. Passing's real similar. You know, you drop back, you bring up your passing windows. You're limited on the amount of buttons that you can throw to. So on some of those routes, you'll you'll see like rollout pass there. Uh, the far left wide receiver, you can't throw to that person. You can only throw to uh, three of the options. That's kind of crazy. That's crazy to me that there's no real like, why couldn't I use an L or a R button with that? All of these just have essentially three routes, even though there might be more than three routes. That's that's weird. Man, I just really thought I'd be able to get Barry Sanders going out of the backfield, running, running and catching. The pace of the play seems okay for the game. Not too slow, not too fast. Obviously, the five-minute quarters here. Um, ah. All right, so field goal. I was hoping it wouldn't come down to this because I'm not really sure how to aim these field goals. I've just been punting. I think once I push the button, I have a little bit of time to arrow over before the power... 
Hit Holy cow. Board. Not a good attempt. First down. All right, so we give them good field position there. this 3-4 on here. So they're running back here. So number 45. I'm pretty sure that was Craig Hayward. Set. Blue. 37. First down. All right. Set. Blue. Hut. Got my dog joining me now. Who's a good dog? Who's a good dog? All right, we're in business here. We're in business. I can't believe they. We got the ball right there in that situation. That I was not expecting that. I was kind of watching to see what my dog was up to at the same time. And then I was like, oh, what the heck? So the computer a little... A little riskier than I thought. I like the crowd atmosphere in the back where you can kind of see the, the crowd back there. The stadium... You know, end zones don't look too bad. When I was selecting the game, too, I didn't really think about it until now. And I don't know what difference it makes. Probably just takes away the the wind. But I, I thought it was neat. You could choose if you want indoors, outdoors, you know, weather or whatever. Or if you want it in a, in a dome. So that was why I chose a dome. That's kind of why I wanted to go with Lions and Bears. Home game for the Lions there in the... In the dome. Set. Set. Thirty-seven. Yeah, they really trying to get after their run game too. There with Hayward there. Set. A little love for the fullback here. By the Bears. <clears throat> oh man, I thought we had a sack. And they get the ball. And they complete it. Unbelievable. First down. Tom Waddle. Two minute warning. Okay. First down. Toss, all right. Got that saw. 35, that was Neil Anderson. I like the timeouts. Got the cheerleaders and the, the sideline atmosphere there. The players sitting on the bench. I just, some charm. I don't know how else to describe it. You know, the game has some nostalgia and some and some charm to it. Overall, doesn't play too bad. Like, I wish the offense was... Offensive controls were a little tighter, and it's probably just me not really remembering, you know, the nuances of the game. I'm sure there's some plays that work much better than the others, although right now I haven't... You don't really notice any any bugs in the offensive play.
Fourth down. Jeez, that was a pretty good punt. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, we have not a lot of time. I don't... Yeah, let's see. Let's see how this goes. I'll try to give it to Sanders here. What would they have done regularly in the NFL then? You know, run it, and then if you make a big play, then you can start going for it. I want to try to go for it anyway, even though we didn't get much. We gotta open it up. Oh my gosh! I'll tell you what I didn't want to do. I didn't want to turn it over there at like the 30-yard line. That defender kind of made a nice play, undercutting the ball a little bit. I didn't think it would, he would get there in time. I'm not a big fan of the passing windows uh, that they had on these older football games. It's kind of hard to tell where people are at. And I know later they didn't have the passing windows. You could just see the people down the field. You know? I'm assuming John Madden wanted the game at the, at the perspective behind the quarterback like this to make it more of a teaching tool of it. But where it has all the broadcasting stuff, you know, trying to incorporate Madden, maybe it would have been cooler to have a, a side broadcasting window so you could see the wide receivers a little easier running downfield kind of like in Tecmo they're as good at kicking field goals as we are apparently all right we lucked out there half time we got the little animation coming again Look at the halftime show. I just like it. Charm. It's got charm. Some kind of a marching band there. Going on. <laughs> That's cool. I don't know if it's the same way. I don't remember if it was the same way for all the games. Probably, the probably was. Alright, and then the little stats here. And four for eight. In a pick. It's not very good. I mean, pretty low yardage wise. Not exactly a sim, but I did go five minute uh, quarters. Maybe maybe it would have been more accurate, but I didn't want to be playing a game forever on here. I just wanted to do a quick one. So, something to keep in mind. Oh, amazing. Right. Decent. First decent. Down. See if we can get things going a little bit here. Not the most exciting game to watch. You can get this game from like DK Oldies or eBay, anywhere online. It's pretty inexpensive uh, for the for the pricing of it and everything. And I know, like, it probably was better for Sega. I was a Super Nintendo person growing up. So most of these that I'll be showing you will be from the Super Nintendo version. I know there was kind of some problems back in the day between uh, Electronic Arts and Super Nintendo. So I think... You know, it's been kind of documented fairly well, like a lot of those sports games that came out for Sega uh, once, once you know, things kind of went that way uh, were a little bit better. It wasn't always that way. I think actually Electronic Arts had a problem with Sega too because they were making cartridges that Sega didn't approve and they even came in a different shape or whatever. But then I think ultimately uh, they... 44. Sega and EA Sports kind of 
came to an agreement and then they started making their games a little bit better on those platforms. Just are not getting anything going here. It's run game. Goodness. Set. Hut. Thirty seven. Hut. Thought Barry Sanders moved there. Thought they were gonna Hut. trying to use up some clock now. Goodness sakes. Alright. Throwing another Ooh. pick here. To number ninety-two. My mind is failing me. I don't even remember necessarily who that would have been. Did I read that wrong? Ninety-two. I'm not sure. I might have misread the number. I'll have to look back at that later. Either way, that would be kind of an unusual number of a of a player to make an interception. Obviously, probably maybe with some kind of three four outside backer rusher who dropped into coverage or something and just made a good play on the ball. I don't know. All right, they're back in field goal position. We're hurting ourselves. It's good. Okay. Game's getting a little more interesting here. Touchback. I like the end zone art. And overall, not a bad, not a bad little game. You know, if if I saw this on Steam, you know, and it had a season mode like it does, obviously no franchise mode during these times, but like a nice little. This game has the playoffs. It's got the the season mode. Obviously, multiplayer uh, back in the day, couch co-op and couch versus and all that. Pretty important for those days, you know. I I think this game holds up well today, you know. I think if they were making this game today and it was released as an indie game, they there would be some patches and some updates on. Opening up the offense just a little bit more. I mean, obviously, Madden didn't want this game as a arcade game. Take it down to the quarter. He wanted it as a simulation. All right, second and nine. Jeez. So we ended up having two wide receivers kind of in the area. I don't know when I was throwing that route. Not ideal. Not sure how that happened. Oh well. Hey, there's a good catch right on the sideline. Solid. Alright, if we can just take this clock down a little bit. Keep moving it down. Maybe we get a touchdown. Probably not. Probably more likely to get an interception. Both teams got three timeouts. Got the NFL logo in the middle of the field. It's probably good. And then be easier coding just have the NFL in the middle and then in the oh so I was trying to quarterback sneak just 
curious to see what we would get for yardage there. And he's out. He's taken out. So uh, Rodney Pete is no longer here. I'm not sure who their backup would have been back in those days. Rodney Pete, kind of a dual threat guy. He played for the for my Eagles for a short amount of time too. It's kind of like Rodney Pete. Blue. Hunt. Little running room there. <clears throat> Little running room. For the fullback. Anyways, like I was saying, the end zone art, you got both teams' end zone art in there. And then. I guess now I don't remember. Are you always going towards your end zone art even if you switch sides? I don't know. Just trying to trying to play the game but also trying to look at these little nuances and see what I notice about it. Get that clock down. Sometimes the clock kind of skips a few seconds. You see that? Must be some some kind of rounding or something with the counting feature. Maybe I don't know. It's unusual. All right, let's keep this clock going. They got three timeouts. We're done with the two-minute warning. Nice little run there. Here we go. Better late than never. I mean, I was not a Lions fan. I liked I liked the Broncos back in the day. Obviously, I'm an Eagles fan. First and foremost. But anytime the Lions were on, like Thanksgiving or whatever, you know, when they were on TV. Anytime. I, I mean, I had a poster of Barry Sanders hanging up in my room. Anytime he touched the ball, it was just... And in those days, the running backs, he had running backs that carried a lot so it, you knew something amazing could happen three most exciting players in the NFL to watch in my life probably obviously Barry Sanders Michael Vick and Randy Moss especially that rookie year with the, with the Vikings my gosh, those are probably my three most most exciting. I'm not saying they're the greatest ever, but in terms of being electric, absolutely. Like, wow. And I cannot believe the Lions. I'm surprised the Lions are not using their timeout, so I, I don't know. I'd, I'd want to play another game of this to see how they manage the end of the game. They faked a punt, and then they don't use those timeouts in a less than seven point game. That's strange. Maybe just a little glitch. Got the run down here from Madden down on the sideline. I just like it. I like these little hey, animation John things Madden with the scores. It's cool. Uh, if I was going back and saying out of a five, what's this game play out of a five? I'd probably go with the three overall, maybe a two. I mean, it's fun to play. It was fun to go back and look at. Look at the. It's got the actual player numbers and everything. It's pretty neat, pretty fun. I'd recommend it. You know, I don't know if I would want to play a whole season of it. But there you have it. That is Madden '94. Appreciate you watching. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more of these kind of videos. I'll make up a few of them anyway. And we'll look back at them and, and we'll see how you like them. But I appreciate you watching.